taking a back seat to Kobe, the AFC Championship game. Steelers, Broncos, first quarter. Steelers, how's that game plan? Just like last week, they come out not running but passing. And that pass deflected by Champ Bailey and caught by Heinz Ward. Seven yards and a first down. Maybe a sign things were going to go their way. Later in the drive, Willie Parker carrying. Hit by Al Wilson, the fumble. Broncos recover. Bill Cower says, I don't think so. Hang on a second. Take another look. Parker's arm down while he still had possession of the football. The call overturned. That would lead to a Pittsburgh field goal. Steelers enjoying a 3-0 lead. Still the first, still 3-0. Jack, Jake Plummer sacked by Joey Porter. Fumble, Pittsburgh recovers. Steelers will take the football. Here's your ensuing drive. Now into the second quarter. First play of that second quarter. Roethlisberger, 12-yard touchdown pass to Cedric Wilson. 10-0 Steelers. In a 10-3 game, on third down and 10, Roethlisberger steps up, and it's Heinz Ward good for 21 and a first down. Here on third and nine, Roethlisberger, another third down conversion, that time to Antoine randall Another third and nine, Roethlisberger, this time Baron Hayes. Next play, first and goal. Jerome Bettis, he's running all the way to Detroit. 17-3 Steelers after the ensuing kickoff. Jake Plummer intercepted by Ike Taylor. A pass Plummer wants back. Steelers take over. 26 seconds left in the first half. Bettis lining up, takes the handoff and takes it in. But wait a second, flag on the play. Illegal formation penalty on Heinz Ward. Bring it back. Very next play. Take it away from Bettis. And give it to Ward. 17 yards out. Touchdown pass to Ward. Here's Big Ben. You know, I was fired up. I couldn't breathe afterwards. I forgot I was a mile high. Uh, lost all my oxygen. But when I let go of it, I was a little nervous. Thought it might get intercepted. Um, but it just got over, you know, a couple guys' hands. And Heinz hauled it in. Over and through a couple guys' hands. 24-3 Steelers. Here in the third now. Jake knows he has to make something happen. And he does to Ashley Lalee. 30-yard touchdown. We got a ball game. 24-10. Broncos now second and goal. Mike Anderson three-yard touchdown run. There's your mile-high salute. And it's a 10-point football game. The attitude, the altitude, all affecting Jake Plummer. Plummer pressured, stripped by Brett Kiesel. Steelers recover. That was a fourth and ten play. The Roethlisberger still fired up. The ensuing drive. Here's third and goal. And ben, why not calling his own number? Four-yard touchdown run. 34-17. The Steelers at this point know so too to the Broncos. Denver's done. Pittsburgh moving on. Jerome Bettis We're going home to Detroit. Well, Coward told Dan Rooney, one more game. It is the first time the Broncos have lost at home all season. Steelers going back to the Super Bowl for the sixth time. I want to bring back the cries of win one for the thumb. Second time for Bill Cower, but it's a first for Jerome Bettis, and for him, it's a case of from the fumble to fun. He's headed home to Detroit, trying to go out a Super Bowl champ. It's an amazing feeling, I'll tell you what. Um, it's a dream come true in the sense, you know, at the beginning of the season, uh, the thought was, you know, we can possibly get here, and uh, I made a decision to come back because, you know, I, I knew we had a good football team, and also the Super Bowl was in my backyard, so uh, I'm just glad uh, it, everything worked out. He has been an inspiration for our football team, and uh, we want to send him off. He came back for one more year. Everyone kind of talked about the Detroit thing, but that, that really had been put aside, and um, but it is uh, very fitting that we're going back to his hometown. We're happy to be going to Super Bowl, but we want to win it. I mean, we, we're not just happy to go there. We want to go there and, 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 and win the whole thing and give him that ring, and uh, it'll be a book in the making of the Drone Bettis story. But we had nothing to lose. Everyone expected us to lose the first game. Uh, everyone expected us to lose the second game. Everyone expected us to lose this game. And, uh, you know, no one believed in us but us. We had each other's back the whole way. And, uh, you know, that, that's all it takes. Sometimes that's all we, we want is each other's backs. Just us against the world. And, and that locker room, 
we really gelled and, and felt that, you know, we could get it done. And only the guys in the locker room believed that we can get it done, and that was enough. We need to go and, and win one more game. You know, no one ever remembers the loser of the Super Bowl. How does that sixth seed feel right about now? Ben Roethlisberger, what a phenomenal day. Threw for 275, two touchdown passes, and drove the stake to the heart of Broncos fans with that four-yard touchdown run late in the fourth. Roethlisberger, only the fourth quarterback in NFL playoff history to throw for 275, pass for the two touchdowns, and run for one. The key, no interceptions. The same cannot be said for Plummer, Broncos. You make third downs, control the tempo of the football game, and you can't get them off the field. And you play the way they did, not only on third downs in the red zone, you know, you're going to be in for a long day, not only against them, but any football team. The interceptions were bad, and, uh, you know, I haven't really fumbled the ball much all year. And, uh, you know, just trying to get up inside that pocket, making a play, and, and you know, got to keep two hands on the ball, but it sometimes, you know, it goes to one hand, and they made a play getting it out of there. And, you know, they ended up, uh, you know, capitalizing on some turnovers and putting us in a hole. And against a defense like that, you can't talk to come out of the hole like that. Capitalizing on turnovers indeed. The Broncos done in by their own mistakes. Four turnovers led to 21 Steeler points. Last week against the Pats, they scored 24 points off five New England turnovers. The Steelers' 21 points, unimaginable when you consider Denver opponents scored a total of 27 points off turnovers the entire regular season. Sean Salisbury, that's got to be a huge part of the reason the Steelers are headed to Motown.